Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Steering wheel cleaning. A while ago, I replaced this steering wheel, guys. And the new one was in fairly good nick. Took the old one off, stuck the new one on, gave it a wipe over, and that was it. And when I drive the car, I can just see some little dull patches of it where it's got a little bit of build up of dirt. And it's a little bit shiny, so I want to give it a clean. I should have done this. Should have done this straight away, really. Um, so the first thing to do is put just a cloth over the instrument panel um, around the car, just so we don't splatter um, stuff everywhere. Should probably use a bigger towel. That'd be fine. Um, <clears throat> the second thing, we take our brush, our leather cleaner. Um, so we're using the Color Lock Mild Leather Cleaner. Oh, it's really bright, isn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, and we squirt, squirt it onto here. And we're just going to work section by section. So I'm just going to dab it over this top section. And nothing too clever. I'm just going to make sure we spend the time to clean something properly. You only have to do it once, don't you? And then it'll be good for about three years. <laughs> or a wipe over will be good after this. But every now and then things benefit from a nice proper deep clean. And I quite enjoy doing it. Especially at the moment with this COVID lockdown. I've been in filming overload for a training course that I'll be telling you about more. I'm still working on it. It's a hell of a lot of work, but it's good fun. And today I'm just taking a day off from all of that. And I've got the camera out and I'm still filming. But this is almost like enjoyable for me because it's not a high difficult edit. I've not prepared any dialogue or anything like that. So uh, this is en enjoyable YouTubing where I get to know you guys a little bit. So one thing with a steering wheel is always worth just working the brush on those stitches. Because they get dirty as well. And the stitches are the parts, the rest of it's smooth, but the stitches catch the grease and dirt, so it does build up there. Um, so just going gently, and if you go gently, you're less likely to flick everything everywhere. And that's pretty much, just make sure I've got it right around the back. That's the top section done. We take a clean microfiber cloth. Can lock this steering wheel in actually. That will probably there we go. Probably just help so it's not moving around. And you should probably you should always glove up as well when you're cleaning interiors. Maybe if it's yours, it's if it's but if it's someone else's car as well, because it's all their dead skin from years and it gets on your hands and you're touching your face and stuff like that. But I've got the excuse, one, it's my car, two, it's not that dirty, and three, I need to be able to touch the screen, so if I put gloves on, I can't operate my cameras. So straight away, I'm looking for the shine to disappear. Where's my cleaner? Here. Right, I'm going to work around this bottom section now. Where's the keys? move it so it's a bit easier. I'm going to leave the keys in the ignition.
and we take our microfiber towel and we wipe down this is in really good condition this steering wheel considering it's off a, another 25 year old car probably my one was all worn out this one someone was selling I think for 35 quid and it was it's, it's mint really we often heard, hear the word mint. When anyone's selling a car, they describe it as mint. It's never mint. Usually means it's knackered. Uh, but this steering wheel really is mint. So that was a good purchase. Now, this steering wheel just got a slight matness to it. Now, the important thing, we take another product, the Leather Cleaning Spirit, which is uh, a solvent-based cleaner. And we just use this because when you hit a tackle, this grease on the steering wheel with um, detergent, you know, the solvent is, is better at dissolving grease. So we're just going to put a thin layer of this film over the steering wheel. Again, we're working a section and then we take it straight off. So that thin sticky residue that's sometimes left behind when you clean with detergents gets broken down. So I just want to see the film. Also, I'm always looking for colour transfer onto the cloth, so I'm not getting any. It's a bad sign if I'm getting colour transfer. Shouldn't. Sometimes they do repairs on steering wheels, even at the factory. You go to clean your steering wheel, some of you guys have told me you've got a brand new car, you go to clean it, you're getting colour transfer the first time when you just clean it with like detergent and a microfiber. That usually means it's a little repair done on it. I can feel this is really coming back now. Okay. Put the lid on this. Right, I'm gonna bring you in guys. I'm gonna bring you in, this will be fun. camera doesn't go back far enough now hopefully let me just sort let me just sort this can I change the color in the light no I can't um, right well this will be this will do so you can see our steering wheel got a little bit of a sheen to it but it feels nice and silky smooth and it's clean and it's looking good let's take this cloth away While you're in here as well, you should probably clean, clean the gator and probably just click, give the steering wheel and handbrake a quick clean, although it's, they're very clean, but I'll do it anyway. So this car has done 150,000 miles, but you'd never know it. Well, you would, <laughs> you would. It gives it away there, 130, 138,000. The condition of the interior is great. Great, good quality interior these are. Still need to get rid of this stezza. That's really bugging me, the fact that it's like silver and purple and everything else is black. So eventually I will spend the money and get a decent stezza. Oh, I just realized, let's put this back on the thing. Hold on. Spin around, spin around. There we go. So that is how you clean a steering wheel. Nothing clever. Um, it's nice, to, isn't it? With detailing, it's nice to every now and then be able to get the time to do a job properly. If you're doing an entire car, you'd spend a whole four seconds on that steering wheel normally. You'd have a wet microfiber, boom, 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 done. But that sounds obvious. Just spending five minutes on it, using the proper brushwork in all the little nooks and crannies, all the stitching, all the way around it, and then that wipe down with a cleaning spirit at the end. That really gets me a clean steering wheel rather than just a wipe down one, so I'm happy. <laughs> I've got loads to do today. Gonna to be doing a little repair on a um, bit of the leather now. I'm filming that for another video, which I think will be interesting. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little wipe down to try and keep the gear gator, gear knob. Nothing worse than a dirty knob, forgive the pun. Uh, I'll see you guys later, take care. I hope 
you're all doing well. You know, this lockdown is a major pain, isn't it? It's a real pain. And the best thing to do is to try and keep busy, try and keep occupied and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this training course has actually come at a good time for me because it's allowed me to kind of put my mind into something that takes... It's not something I can just focus on and get done in a day. It's something that's going to take at least four, five, six weeks to complete all the filming for and the preparation. Um, and the end results are going to be a module that you can go online, you can pay to do, it's not going to be free, but it's going to be very affordable. Um, and it's a sort of detailing basic course. And it will get you from, well, if you just discovered detailing and there's a lot of things that you're not confident about, all this terminology or, you know, you're scared to go from washing your car really thoroughly to, you know, polishing it. Even Some people don't even like the idea of claying it. We're going to go through the full process in all these different modules so that by the end of it, you should have the confidence to be able to know what to do. It's always the first time you do it. It's always going to be a little bit apprehensive, isn't it? But there's a lot of information in the course, and I think it's going to be really good. So um, that's what I've been up to, guys. Great to see you. And uh, I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detail. This light is killing me. It's really early in the morning as well. Not my best. Take care.